to a new video. Today I'm opening the kiln and it's full with, I think, really nice uh, glazed items. So it was the second firing. Um, and inside we have uh, the love cups, the heart shaped cups. We have marbled items, we have teapots, um, a few big bowls. So I'm, uh, I am gonna uh, open it now and show you everything that's inside. Let's start with the love cups. They are glazed inside with a shiny white glaze. And on the outside I used a matte white glaze. I always put the white, the shiny white inside because uh, if you put coffee in it, it can stain a little on the uh, matte glaze. So that's why I always do the matte only on the outside. But yes, I really like them. They are so cute and perfect for a small uh, coffee or a small uh, cappuccino. And these ones are uh, not marbled, but they are an experiment on uh, for the pigment. You see, this one is a little darker than this one. So I guess this was 5% uh, brown pigment and this was 10% um, brown pigment. And I really like the, um, the color, actually. It's really, uh, especially this one, the 5% brown pigment. You know me's. I made a bunch of you know me's um, to go with the teapots. And they are so pretty. Hmm. And this one I made for a friend because she does um, um, cacao ceremonies. And she asked me to make a, um, a cup for her, a small cup for her. Uh, this Anita, this is for you. But this is a really exciting moment because they are my first ever made teapots. So hmm. I have to crack this open because it's now a little bit attached to the teapot. But I have a little trick for that to fix it. Love. And another one. This one is matte white and the other one was um, shiny white. 
I really like this effect with all the speckles and the matte white glaze on top. It makes it so um, like so rustic, and I really like that. And how cute is this together? Like a really nice small teapot for two cups of tea. Oh, love, 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 love. And on the last shelf we have bowls. Yes. show you how I open this because now it's fused together because there was probably a little bit of glaze left on the uh, rim so taking something from wood and I just tap on the uh, bottom part And it's a pretty damn good fit. Oh my god, this is the best one yet, I guess. I do have to test it out because we have to see if the spout is pouring properly. But oh my god, I am love I am in love with this one. <laughs> 